Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel. And uh, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on lately. So for those of you who don't follow me on Discord uh, or look at the chat sections like the nerd chat and stuff like that, or hacker chat as I renamed uh, the leak chat because it just felt more appropriate. Um, I've started working on my own toolkit for Android development and Android repairs mainly. So for those of you who don't know, I work for a small repair shop. We do a lot of wholesale stuff. And <clears throat> a lot of the time, the stuff we get is basically purchased off of Amazon return uh, pallets or like target return pallets or things like that. And we'll get a lot of devices that are FRP locked, uh, just locked up with a passcode, things of that nature. And with my history of being creative with devices and stuff like that, uh, doing things that you're not meant to, I have slowly come up with this method of getting around that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ate what I'd like to call a bucket of pizza. And... I realized I probably should have drank something before uh, recording this video. Anyway, I'm just going to talk through it. It doesn't matter. So, for those of you who don't know and who haven't been following, I recently, completely by accident, by the way, um, recently came up with my own bypass method for FRP locks on Samsung devices. And that's what kind of started this. So I've since actually locked down the post on my website for uh, viewing how to do it because I ended up realizing that Samsung has a bug bounty program and they do pay pretty nicely if you give them, um, you know, if uh, you turn in a bug and they deem it something that's actually a security risk. So... I've password protected it. I'm not going to show you guys uh, the actual steps. <clears throat> but I'll show you that once a lot of this stuff is, you know, once I'm able to make this public 90 plus days after they actually uh, do everything as the law basically is a minimum of 90 days. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, you have all the links here on this page to do whatever you need to do. I think it was bypassfrp.net or something like that that I got a lot of these links from. But I ended up putting them all into a table to make it easier to go through them. And this is everything you need to do FRP bypasses. And I'm not going to show you that because, like I said, TechX got to get paid. Got to make that bread. So, first off, you know, the Samsung FRP tool, I sort of understand how it works. I have an idea. <coughs> but... I'm not there yet on coding that myself. I do understand how this works. And then all of this stuff, I understand how it works. And I've actually come up with a few custom links as well that uh, are pretty nifty. So anyway, let's get back to the actual tool. So you guys know that I've been like a hobbyist programmer in C Sharp for a couple years now. This is a very ugly program tool. <clears throat> I'll just tell you that right now. But I did my best to make it a good user experience. So I'm going to build it real quick. We're going to just scroll down there. I'm going to build it real quick. Those steps were incorrect anyway. <clears throat> and as you can see, it starts up. And it's not completed yet, but there's going to be like general routing stuff, bootloader unlocking, miscellaneous functions. There's going to be assets combined with the tool uh, that the tool needs. The first time the tool runs, it'll ask you if you want to extract those. Another thing that I'd like to make prettier is how this log works. I want to, like, color code things, you know, label certain things. Because right now when I plug in a device and I do a, uh, I do a command of some kind. Let me show you. Why are there dice on my They're not mine. <coughs> anyway. I'm going to plug in my essential phone. There we go. And I realized that that's in a really poor location. So, for example, I haven't done anything for that yet. Uh, there's stuff in the miscellaneous tab. ADB info. Uh, have I never plugged this phone into this computer? I don't think I have. 
Oh, I haven't. Huh. <clears throat> so as you can see, it does list it, but it lists it in such a way that you don't really have labels for what things are. So I'll click it again real quick. And as you can see, it's really ugly, and it's all spaced out like this and stuff like that. I don't like that. It's ugly. It's stupid. It doesn't need to be like that. And I want to recode that to be prettier. You know, label this as phone model. Uh, phone, you know, Android version. Uh, specific model. Essential phone. Whatever. And then there's all these other buttons. These all do different things. Like reboot to bootloader does exactly what it sounds like. Reboot system does exactly what it sounds like. BL unlock is a universal bootloader unlock that it'll work on some devices, but not others because not everything is universal, which is why we have tabs for specific devices. But I have stuff for like, I guess this could go under Xiaomi because that's what me is. But I have the uh, my FRP bypass. I have an account removal, uh, removal fast boot uh, that removes your pin by fast boot. OEM unlocking, which this actually allows you to OEM unlock even if you don't have access to the settings. It's an exploit. And then removing MyCloud as well as FRP bypasses. I do have bypass instructions for the Razer phone. They're not... It's not actual, like, how to bypass. It's more like tips, general tips, and I need to fix that. Maybe rename that and put it in the miscellaneous options. I don't have anything for the Razer yet. That's okay. Xiaomi stuff, I have Fastboot FRP Bypass, Lenovo FRP Bypass. So far, that's pretty much what I've gotten, is what I've been working on, mainly, is FRP Bypassing. Also, uh, help in unlocking your bootloader on a Motorola device, because Motorola devices, if you didn't know, you have to get an unlock code from Motorola. You have to like sign in, uh, get the request unlock code, uh, get the unlock code from the device, it'll paste it. You'll paste your request code here and then click this and it unlocks your device. Motorola's really kind of a pain in the ass. And then there's the Samsung stuff. Samsung is the one that I've been focusing on the most because realistically, Samsung devices are the easiest ones to FRP bypass, which is hilarious. But the code for this is god ugly. I will tell you that right now. <clears throat> um, it's not pretty. So, like, this is my output handler. And I'm pretty proud of myself because a lot of this program is... It's not stolen code. It's completely written by me. And I didn't think I had enough knowledge to do this. But a lot of it is not the greatest. I'll admit it. It could be better. Uh, that's why it... Okay. We're going to get rid of that. But, uh, so, like, if you run a command, this is just how you run one. It's CD ADB if you have ADB on your system. I'll be changing that later. Right now, I'm just making it work for myself. And it'll actually display the devices, manufacturer info from the prop file. The one thing that I need help with on this, that maybe somebody watching this video will have the knowledge of how to do, is... <clears throat> um detecting device state. I cannot find information nearly anywhere online on how to do that in C-sharp. So what I mean by detect device state is, let's say I do um, ADB devices. When you do that, it gives you a result of like ID of device. And then right here, it specifically tells you recovery or system or file transfer i think bootloader if it usually bootloader is saved for fast boot so actually adb won't detect it but it'll basically tell you in this part next to id devices i don't know why i didn't just do this adb devices as you can see when it tells me it's just device that means it's just idle it's just sitting here i could transfer files to it with adb push pull file from it with ADB pull. Um, but if I do like ADB reboot recovery, there it goes. Essential, we'll give him a second. 
Okay, maybe a couple seconds. Once my computer dings. Oh yeah, I turned the volume off. I can see it on my phone. Mm -hmm. So, EDB devices. Give it a second. I'm waiting for it to boot fully into TWRP. Uh oh. Huh. Asking me for the password to decrypt my data. I don't know that information. I did not set one. Unless it's like my passcode. Anyway, so if I do ADB devices, you can it detects that it's recovery mode. And then if I do system, it'll reboot the system as normal. So I want to be able to detect this and tell that it's in that mode, tell that it's in fast boot, et cetera, et cetera. Why did I close that? But the code for this is so ugly. It's just a but bunch of button presses. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I have the hiccups. And just instructions on how to do certain things. So if anybody wants to reach out and help with this, I'm definitely open to ideas. I'm open to serializing this and maybe selling it in the future if we can make it good enough. Uh, I want to include as many public tools in this, make it basically your one-stop AIO, one-stop shop AIO for everything Android repair. And even then, if I can add Apple stuff to this, I'll do that too because I have... I have hints on how to do iCloud bypassing. And I'd like to do iCloud bypassing with this tool as well, if possible. But that would require also coding in a server for this, uh, sending back custom code, things of that nature. So anyway, while it's not quite done yet, obviously it's far from done actually, I am thinking about open sourcing it in the future because a lot of the info that I'm using here is public knowledge anyway, if you just know how to Google correctly, or I don't use Google anymore. Google's search results are very skewed, and with that, you don't get the results you necessarily used to with Google. So I've actually moved over to using DuckDuckGo, and if I'm feeling really adventurous, I'll use Yandex. So Yandex is a search uh, search engine, I believe it's Russian, I want to say. And boy, do you find things with that. Holy crap, let me tell you. There are things that I have that I found through Yandex that I never thought I'd find, like professional car tuning software, and thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of preset tune files for Porsches, Audis, Subarus, Volkswagens, uh, Dodges, uh, Fords, like literally I th don't have the USB plugged in at the moment to show you guys the stuff I found because I'm keeping it on a flash drive because I don't trust the software because it definitely flagged my antivirus heavily. So I run it on another computer that's completely disconnected. And actually the stuff all works as intended. I just don't know if those false positives are because of the crack or, you know, what have you. Who knows what's in that software. But with that being said, if you have any knowledge and you want to help with this, I would also like to include uh, APK easy tool in this i'm gonna message the original creator of apk easy tool and see if he minds if i put a download link button in here um if you can think of devices that i need to fill the driver install section i know i need xiaomi i know i need razor i know i need lenovo uh but a lot of the drivers actually for android devices for what people don't know you go into your uh, thingamajiggy. Most of the time, you can just get away with doing update driver, browse computer for driver. Let me pick from a list, and then ADB device or you know this is an essential phone, so I click that, and I just go through and I install the driver that way. You don't 
necessarily always need to download the driver specifically from Samsung or LG or whatever. Um, I also do need to do a uh, one-click install for ADB, I just realized. And a lot of this stuff needs to have like a, are you sure you want to do this uh, code behind it? Because that's important as well. But I'd definitely like to pretty this up. I'd definitely like to maybe even add Windows options to this and Mac OS options to this. Uh, because I get in a lot of Surface tablets as well that I do repairs on. But right now my bulk is Samsung. The FRP bypass that I discovered um, works so far. I have bypassed 84 devices. The only ones that were not possible to bypass, the only ones out of... Uh, I think there were only nine devices I tested. The only ones I could not bypass were ones that had a MDM lock, which was a single device. Could not bypass the MDM lock, but I have goals of trying. And uh, there was an another device that had a passcode enabled, and it had that setting uh, turned on where even if you want to turn the device off, you have to put in the passcode, and I couldn't get around that. Every time you turn the device on, it requires the passcode to do anything, even a setup from factory reset settings. Um, and then the only other devices I could do were older than Android 8.0, so I could not do any of those. But everything else works, and I have since submitted it to Samsung to see if I can be eligible for a... Uh, you know a payout because a bug bounty program it's an awesome thing it'll be really cool to put on my resume that i have submitted an exploit to samsung in the past and well submitted something to samsung and actually got a payout for my security uh vulnerability and then release it public uh when i'm allowed to so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm excited for this tool and i'll keep you guys updated on uh on what changes with it and things like that. If you want to help out with the tool, let me know. I'm all for, you know, splitting profits if this ends up being sold in some way. But right now, it's just realistically, it's a tool for myself and anybody who's going to happen to want it because it is very crappily coded. I'm not proud of how it's coded, but it'll get better with time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, 17 minutes and 50 seconds, Jesus Christ. Tell me what you had for dinner. Uh, well, or breakfast or lunch. Tell me your favorite time of day to eat and what your favorite thing to eat is because I'm a giant food person. I love food. I've gotten fat because of it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.